Stamp and Sharon bringing you a birthday card today. Very feminine, very pretty, very easy. If you've not already subscribed to my channel, you can do so below. After you subscribe, you can hit the notification bell. You'll be notified when I upload my videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. If I can ever help you with any of your Stampin' Up! supply needs, let me know. Oh, let me show you the card. Here's the card that we're going to be making today. It is super easy, super fun. I decided to open it up this way just to give it a little bit different personality. Um, I'm using mint macaron as the uh, layer. I've already embossed it with the Layered Leaves 3D and it's this um, little bit thicker folder. And, um, you know, depending on your machine and all of that will depend on how you run this through your machine. My cardstock measures four inches by five and a quarter. I have my Whisper White thick card base that is four and a quarter by um, 11 inches, scored and folded at five and a half. And then I have my layer. This layer is two inches by five and a quarter. And then I have my small sentiment layer that is one inch by two inches. And then a layer of mint macaron that is one and a quarter by two and a quarter. I try to keep my measurements fairly simple so that I can remember them and you can too. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some stamping. I'm using mint macaron, uh, flirty flamingo, and mango melody. Trying to think outside the box because I always grab the same inks. Do you do that? I'm so bad about that. All right, so we're gonna alternate stamping our flower in different colors. I always like to start with my lighter colors first so that I don't muddy anything if I didn't happen to get my stamp completely clean. And we're gonna get our leaf. Now, I am using the wood mount version because I still had this. If you purchase this stamp set now um, from my website, you will get what's called the clean mount, and um, it's a little bit different. It, you will add it to a block. And I wanted some little dots just to kind of fill in. This is a great little stamp set, and you know what the main reason? The main reason I pulled it out is because I love that big happy birthday. That didn't work. I ended up with the smaller happy birthday, but there's two sizes for you, so it's pretty cool. I love the fact that they're smaller images because I was able to come back in and fill in any blank spots that I had, any like vacant areas. Uh, let's do, oh, let's do this one. And we're gonna. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the Mint Macaron, um, it's the shimmer, let's see, what do they call it? Mm. Textile ribbon, it's kind of shimmery, very soft, very easy to tie. I just decided we're gonna add a little bit to one end. I always like to leave my ribbon on the bolt because I waste less ribbon that way. Since we're stamping, we're gonna go ahead and I'm using the black memento ink Pull this down so I don't try not to get my head in the camera. You know, I apologize, but it's hard. <laughs> Whenever that happens, it's like, oh, sorry about that, guys. Okay. And we're going to add that on. 
I'm going to pop that up with some dimensionals. I am adding more than you might because um, it's going to be going on a textured layer. And I want as much adhesive that I can. I'm going to use the liquid glue, multi-purpose liquid glue. If you've watched any of my videos, you know I love the liquid glue to get all down in those embossed areas. Liquid glue is awesome for everyone in the sense that um, it's very forgiving. It's a very forgiving glue. We're going to pop this on with some dimensionals too. I have no idea how many dimensionals I go through a month. <laughs> a lot. And you do know that you can trim the edge and use every bit of that sheet. much center that. I added the row of glue of dimensionals in between because this is a long piece of paper. And we're done. I don't know about you, but I'm always needing birthday cards. I just love how the embossing folders really make any card pop. And I'm happy that I picked mint macaron because I don't ever use that color very much. It's pretty. Very summery, springy. It's pretty. Happy stamping, y'all!